So um, I'm David Pogue. I was the host of the PBS special Making Stuff and a new special series in April called Hunting the Elements. And then uh, there's going to be a sequel to Making Stuff, more, more another mini series, and and that's and there's another whole show I'm going to be hosting uh, for for Nova. So. Um, which, which is weird because I'm not a scientist. I've never taught science. I don't know science uh, like I should. Um, but this is central to the question of how do we get kids interested in science? And it's an increasingly burning question as we are losing jobs in manufacturing and innovation to China and other countries. Um, the number of people who are majoring in science in this country is going down every year. There's, a, there's an anti-science backlash uh, in the popular zeitgeist, uh, it's terrifying. So the tiny role that I think I play um, is that I am an explainer. I've, I've written about technology for, for 25 years for the New York Times and, and uh, I used to write the blah 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 for dummies books. So my, my skill, if I have one, is trying to explain technical concepts to a wider audience. And it turns out that the science stories today are fantastic. I mean, there's some really, really, really cool, amazing science stories that nobody knows about, whether it's because they have bad PR or nobody's going on TV and explaining them. I don't know. In, in, in Hunting the Elements, we went to a facility in California called the National Ignition Facility. It's your tax dollars at work, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, run by the Department of Energy, and they are making a star. They make a star in a pinpoint, and they are going to harness the energy free, unlimited source of energy, they say by 2020, with no byproducts, no fossil fuels, no fuels like uranium that people would have to fight over because it's just hydrogen. It's just a hydrogen atom they're blowing up. And so it's, it's free energy forever. It could be the solution. But who's heard of this? Nobody. It is a fantastic operation. They're testing it every day. They've got the energy coming out. Incredible. So anyway, that's one of many examples of why if somebody could just tell the public what's going on in science, how it's relevant to our lives, how cool it is and how interesting, not scary and dry, it doesn't have to be at all, then I think we'd be able to dig ourselves out of this problem. So that's my, that's my belief when I get out of bed in the morning is that maybe, just maybe, if we tell the story entertainingly and clearly and relevantly, that it'll begin to turn things around.